Hello, I'm Becky, one of the storytellers at the Royal Albert Hall. And since you can't come and see us at the moment, I wanted to come and say hello to you, sing you some songs and tell you a story with a bit of help from my cello here. So get yourself comfy. If you've got a hand or even a shaker to wave, please join me in singing hello. Hello everybody, can you sing hello with me? Hello everybody, can you sing hello with me? Hello everybody, can you sing hello with me? Everybody, can you sing hello with me? La 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 Everybody, can you sing hello with me? Hello everybody, can you sway hello with me? we need to say hello to to help us with our story today. My story today is about a little animal, rather a famous animal actually, who has not one, not two, but zoop, up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, wriggly legs. Hi, this is Anansi the spider. Should we say hello to Anansi? Hello Anansi, hi. Anansi the spider is a very famous spider from lots of stories in West Africa and I'm going to tell you a story all about Anansi today. Go on Anansi, give them a little oh, a tickle. Anansi the spider really loves to dance so I wonder if we could do a dancing spider song. Anansi if you have a little rest here on my stool next to my ukulele should we try and make a spider with our hands? If we get our thumbs and put them together, that leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight wriggly legs, just like a spider. So, with a bit of help from my cello again, let's make our hand spiders dance and wriggle around. I got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. I can spin extraordinary webs. Do you want to see a trick? I can hang upside down. Could you go upside down? Yes, I'm a spider and I'm the boss of this town. I got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. Let's go one more time. I got Anansi, the spider, had been out dancing late and he was asleep in bed when his grandma came and knocking at his door. Anansi had completely forgotten he'd promised to go and help in her garden. Shall we go and knock at the door with grandma? You can knock on your knees. Or if you've got a drum, you could rat-a-tat-tat -tat on the drum. I'm going to use my cello here and rat-a-tat-tat -tat with me. 
Is anybody in? Shall we rat a tat tat? A rat a tat tat. A rat a tat tat. Is anybody in? Shall we rat a tat tat? A ding dong. A ding dong. Is anybody in? Shall we rat a tat tat? A ding dong. A ding dong. Is anybody in? Shall we rat a tat tat? Go away. No one's here. And Nancy called. Gran knocked louder. A rat a tat tat. A rat a tat tat. Is anybody in? Shall we rat a tat tat? A rat a tat tat, a rat a tat tat. Is anybody in? Shall we rat a tat tat? A ding dong, a ding dong. Is anybody in? Shall we rat a tat tat? A ding dong, a ding dong. Is anybody in? Shall we rat a tat tat? Open that door now, said Grandma. And then Nancy knew you don't say no to Grandma. So he went over and meow, opened the door and in came grandma. She was not happy. Shall we pull our crossest faces? If you could put your hands on your hips like this and look very, very cross at me. Hmm. And Nancy, she said, you promised to help me in the garden today. Now come, come, come. And Nancy said, no, I'm too busy, not today, hey. And Nancy said his gran, you come right away. And besides, I've made your favourite lunch. Hot, bubbling, bubble, bubble, bubbling, spicy beans. Well, that's all it. And Nancy loved hot, spicy beans. So on he came, all the way to Grandma's house, where he started to dig in the garden. Shall we do some digging together? Get yourself a pretend spade and let's dig dig, dig in the garden and make the plants grow whoosh tall and the worms wiggle and jiggle around. Shall we dig, dig, dig in the garden? Dig, dig, dig in the garden. Shall we dig, dig, dig in the garden? On a beautiful day. Are you ready to grow? The plants are gonna grow so tall. The plants are gonna grow so tall. The plants are gonna grow so tall. As those ooh, worms, they wriggle and jiggle around. Wiggle and a jiggle. through the garden came the most beautiful smell and it came right up to his nose and it tickled his nose oh said Nancy that is the smell of hot spicy beans yum yum oh I've been working all of five minutes Surely I could go and have some beans now. He saw that Grandma was nowhere around, so she wouldn't notice. So he tiptoed, tiptoed, 
tiptoed, tiptoed to the kitchen. And there was the pan, a great big round pot. Can you make a round pot with your hands like me? Going bubble, 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 mmm, said Nancy. I'm going to have me some of those beans, but I don't want Gran to know I've been in here. So I'm not going to use a bowl. No, what could I use? And he looked around and then he remembered. On his head, zoop, he was wearing a very fine hat. And he wore this hat to look after his long, beautiful, silky spider's hair. Did you know spiders have hair? Well, they don't anymore. And this is why. And Nancy took his hat off his head and he spooned in the bubbly, 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 bubbly splat. Bubbly, 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 bubbly splat. Bubbly, 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 bubbly splat beans. And he was about to tiptoe off to eat them in the garden. When stop. <gasps> Listen. What can we hear? Up in the air. Tweet, 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 tweet. Something is near. <gasps> birds. Little birds of hundreds of different colours had flown through the kitchen door. Can you see the little birds all flying in the sky? Can you see them tweeting, fluttering so gently by? They shouldn't be in the kitchen. I think Nancy left the door open. Oh, look at all the birds up in the sky. Can you be little birds? Can you flutter your wings? And maybe you can spin around like all those hundreds of colourful little birds causing a great big mess in Grandma's kitchen. Can you see the little birds all flying all around? Knocking all the kitchen things in a mess upon the ground. Can you see them twirling, whirling, swirling all around? Can you see the birds up in the sky? Can you do some bird dancing? she came to Anansi's house. Now she was even crosser. She really had her hands on her hips again. She had a crosser's face and she looked at the birds and she went clap, clap, clap. And the birds, well, they whooshed away. No one messes with grandma. Should we try that together? We'll do three claps and then the birds can flitter and flutter away. She went clap. Clap, clap, and the birds they went whoosh. She went the clap, 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 and the birds they went whoosh. She went clap, 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 and the birds they went swoosh. They flitted and they fluttered away. Oh yes, yeah. she went the clap, 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 and the birds they went swoosh. Clap, 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 and the birds they went whoosh. She went clap, 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 and the birds they went whoosh. They flitted and they fluttered away. 
and they weren't seen again that day. Oh no. But this did leave Anansi with one big problem. A problem that bubble, 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 bubbles. A problem that smelled delicious. A hat full of bubbly, bubbly beans. Where can I hide them? I don't want Grandma to know. <gasps> and then he had an idea. He took the hat whoosh, and he put it on his head. And as the hat went on his head, the beans, they went dribble, dribble, dribble and sizzle. Sizzle, sizzle, yeah! Said Anansi, these beans are so, so hot, and he was so hot that he began to dance wildly. <laughs> his lovely silky long spider hair and leaving Anansi with a very bald head and beans running all the way down it. His gran looked at Anansi. She still had her hands on her hips and she was trying her best to look as cross as possible but she couldn't help it. She looked at daft old Anansi and she started to giggle. She started to smile and then she walked over to him and gave him the most enormous snuggly cuddle. And Nancy, you daft bat, let's clean this up together and we'll eat those beans. And so they did. And Nancy and his gran tidied up the kitchen and they took, in bowls, not hats, the spicy beans out to the garden and they gobbled them up. And you know what? Grandma might have forgiven Anansi, but that hair of his, well, it never grew back. So if you've ever wondered why spiders don't tend to have lots of long, gorgeous, silky hair on their heads, well, this is why. <laughs> and as for us, as that story drifts away, it leaves us just one thing left to say, which is, of course, goodbye. And we'll see you soon. Another day. So let's finish off by saying goodbye to my cello and getting our waving hands ready. And I wonder if you could join me for one last song as we sing, sing, sing goodbye, sing goodbye to us. Sing, sing, sing goodbye, sing goodbye to us. La 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 la